The Commuter is the latest collaboration between Liam Neeson and director Jamae Clayserra, and it also stars Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga. Liam Neeson plays Michael, a former cop, now life insurance salesman, who has just been laid off from his job. He is taking the commuter train back home that he has become a regular on, when he is approached by a mysterious woman played by Vera Farmiga. She asks him to do one small little favor for a lot of money put a tracking device on a particular person on this train, who she tells him does not belong, and he will get the money, plus more later. However, things don't go quite as easy as they should, and so Liam Neeson is caught in the middle of a nefarious plot that he needs to get out of by finding this person. As I mentioned before, this is the fourth collaboration between Jamaica Lacerra and Liam Neeson. Before this, they collaborated on Unknown, Nonstop, and Run All Night. All pretty fun, entertaining thrillers that are suspenseful, that have interesting plots that, yes, also have problems in the films themselves. None of them are perfect masterpieces or anything, but they are all entertaining in their own right. Fun films, and this is one as well. Yes, the commuter has problems, but yet again, I find myself so engaged into the plot watching this movie. First off, I gotta talk about Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson is such a charismatic and fun presence in this film, as he is in all of these Jamaica sort of thrillers. Obviously, he's best known for Taken, which has become a meme in and of itself, or at least it was for a while. I think that's kind of died down now. I don't see it around as much. But also, you have The Grey, which is another good action thriller with Liam Neeson, as well as the other Jamaica Clay Sarah film. He has made quite a name for himself in the action thriller department as of late. And hey, if you're going to be typecast, well, I guess be typecast as a fun, charismatic action star. That's one way to go, and Liam Neeson pulls it off really well. I thoroughly enjoy him in his film. He carries this film, as do the other actors as well, don't get me wrong, but he carries this film, and even through some implausibilities, he really sells those moments. I'll get to that in a bit. Even though there are plenty of moments of implausibility in his film, I never felt distracted by them while watching the film. It was only on retrospect after walking out of the theater that I was like, oh, that didn't really make a lot of sense. That was also dumb. I guess there were a couple moments while watching the movie where I was like, okay, that's not realistic. But I didn't care while watching it because I was so enthralled by the story and by the acting. I really feel for his character as I'm watching this film because he has to figure out who this person is. He doesn't know why these people are after them. He has very little information, but he also can't go around telling people what's going on because otherwise people will die, including his family, possibly. We find out very soon into the movie. That's not even a spoiler, by the way. We find out pretty quickly. And you really feel for him, so that's what helps carry through this movie for me. It's a fun action thriller. The other acting is great as well. Vera Farmiga, for example, although we barely see her in the movie itself, we hear her a lot over a phone, and she is such a compelling presence. You feel her throughout this movie, even when we don't see or hear her. You just feel that she is watching him go about finding this person and she is watching every move he makes or someone at least is watching every move he makes so you know he is basically screwed and just has to find this person and it is so tense honestly she really brings a formidable presence we don't know much about her and that is the best for a character and she sells it her acting sells that she is a danger she is Someone not to mess with. And so you really feel the tense danger of the situation. And that is great for a movie like this. Now I've been alluding to scenes of improbability in this film. And I should mention those now. For example, there is a scene where he gets a newspaper and writes on it, Call the police and gives it to a friend of his who's just about to get off the train. Then he gets a phone call from the woman, Vera Farmiga. And she tells him to look out the window and watch the street right across from where the train is. Or uh, perpendicular, I should say, from where the train is. And as he, right as he looks, he sees the man that he just gave the newspaper to on the corner. And someone poses him in front of a bus. Now, I'm watching the movie and I'm like, that's impossible. First of all, how would they know that he would be on that corner? He would probably be able to figure out where the bus goes pretty easily, but how do you know the bus is going to be there right on time to push this guy to the corner? Also, how did that guy get to the corner on time? She would have had to call him and be like, hey, get to this corner right now and push this guy in front of this bus that's going to show up at this particular second right when it shows up. Oh, okay. I mean, did he just run really fast from some apartment nearby? But also, when he gets to the corner, 
There's a ton of people around him. Are you telling me no one saw that this guy obviously pushed this dude out into the street? No one be like, hey, that guy just pushed that guy. What the hell? Like, this guy's obviously just got pushed because he, like, stumbled into the street. It's not like uh, he started walking and then got hit or something. It's very obvious that something pushed him and there's this guy right behind him. The timing of that is so precise that even, like, a few seconds of hesitancy on the bus driver showing up, what if he was able to stop in time, what if... There's so many what ifs that it just ruins the moment if you think of it in the moment. But I let it go watching the film because I was so compelled. And there's other moments like that too. There's another action sequence as well that admittedly while I watched it, I was like, this doesn't make any sense. But the setup for it was so good that I didn't care and I was in some level of suspense while watching it. And it's a sequence where the setup is cops have gotten onto the train at one of the stops along the way because someone reported that Liam Neeson was acting suspicious and they just wanted to get him off the train. So he ends up hiding underneath the train and he has to stay there until the cops get off. However, as soon as the cops get off, the train starts going. So he has to somehow get out from underneath the train, not get hit by the wheels as this commuter train is of course going extremely fast and even the slightest miscalculation will kill him instantly on impact and somehow get back inside the train. Yes, the, the laws of improbability and precise calculated timing to perfection are broken several times throughout this film. However, it is such a thrilling premise, honestly, that I didn't care. I was engaged in a film. It was a fun movie. It's a fun action thriller. It's not much more than that. It doesn't teach you anything about life or anything like that, but it is fun popcorn entertainment. Yet again, Jamaica Clayser and Liam Neeson pull it off. Jamaica Clayser shows he can really make a suspenseful, fun movie. Also, I would say, check out the movie Orphan. It's an underrated horror film. Liam Neeson isn't in this one, but uh, Vera Farmiga is. That is excellent as well. Definitely check that one out. Yes, it's silly, but there are some fun action films that are silly. Go see The Rock. Go see Con Air or Face Off. Those are all silly action movies. Hell, the movie Speed. There's some silliness in that movie. But I thoroughly enjoy those movies. And just like those movies, I really enjoy this one as well. I'm going to give The Commuter four stars. So that's my thoughts on The Commuter. Go check it out. It's a fun movie. And if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. See ya.